Glimmer Mist has become kind of a staple in a lot of our paper crafting, but it's fun to see new colors. Yes, and we indeed have new colors, and we also have new stencils to use them with. And we have a new technique. So, come play with us. Please do. So here are the new seven. The rainbow. Da -da. We've got moonlight, we have aquamarine, purple pansy, gold. Viva pink, a green meadow, and cream de chocolate. Yes, and it's hard to see the bottle, what color it's gonna be, so they always have a test strip on yeah. the back. And that's nice, so you don't so, get surprised. Look at all those pretty colors. Yes, there we go. Okay. Now, uh, the other thing that's new are the templates. Right. So let's bring this in. Mm -hmm. Now these are from our friends at Creative Imaginations, and I've not seen pieces like this before. Yeah, it's nice because you've got the small butterflies and little hearts and you also kind of have larger frames and yeah. images there. But what's really neat is what you can do with them. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was just gorgeous. It is. And then I thought, how'd they do that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to show you the how they do that. Yes. So this is using the, uh, there you go, you nice memories. close look. And this is using the Handmade Memories mm -hmm. paper pack, which is one of the most popular. Of course. And you're going to demo. Yes. And I'm going to be so brave, yes. those of you Don't who have watched worry. us before. I will be careful. She'll be fine. It will aim properly. I've got a paper towel <laughs> next to me. <laughs> just in case. So I'm going to take the small butterfly. Okay, so I want to just bring this in so you can see. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing the pattern paper. That's the new technique, is to mm -hmm. use these. We've used them on plain cardstock and right. on specialty paper, but not on pattern paper so much. And that's so, very cool looking. Yeah, and so you kind of have to think what color your ink is and what color right. your paper is. Yeah, you don't want a paper too dark because then your spray oh, will not show up. Excellent, excellent, okay. So definitely shake it up, and the the particles settle quite quickly, so you want to shake it right before you spray. And the other thing you want to know is where that spray is going to yeah, go. Yeah, so look Hi, at Anne. this nozzle, point it down <laughs> about a foot away. Okay. And just spritz. Mm -hmm. So, okay. what was and that, like it's, five spritzes? Yeah. Four. And then it's going to absorb. Yeah, so course. the paper becomes like that. Like that. And then when you cut it out, it's going to, whoops, oops, when you cut it out. Now you've used purple here, this was blue on this one. Mm -hmm. So you'll just cut, leaving a little edge <clears throat> that's the color of the spray. So that way you get kind of a matte right. on it. And what I'm doing now is just blotting the stencil with a paper towel and that gives the easiest cleanup. Okay. And love the craft sheet. Right. So easy to clean, the paper towel. Now, what was done here is on the green handmade, mm -hmm. um, uh, handmade memories paper with the brown, the chocolate. Yes, the chocolate brown. And then it was stamped on the uh, center of it. I love how you can still see that swirl of the blue behind the brown right yes. in this area. That really makes it just, I mean, mm -hmm. it's just a striking, striking it look. Is. And yet it's so easy. So easy. When you know the secret. This one doesn't have an inside. So okay. see, it's just like that. So what's next? Okay, so what's next is to take another look and this card is using the uh, boutique paper pack. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting about this is that we are using a paper that has a lot of design on it. Yes, it so definitely does. So you can see that this is coming off right Just here. Just right off this yeah. corner. Yeah, okay, right. So right there, you can see the butterfly. Mm -hmm. But look at the pink how it's really highlighted the uh, white area. Yeah, it really area. transforms that yeah. paper, I think. Are you, are you gonna do that? Yes, I am. Okay, because that's something I, I think it's a little bit harder to envision when you, right. go, when you have that much coverage. It, yeah, you kind of have to say, okay, where are my hearts gonna be placed so right. that they can be seen? And in this case, I've actually done the big heart separately, like over here, and then cut oh. around it so that my pattern wouldn't be covering it up. And it's the same thing where you cut outside the pink area. You didn't cut mm -hmm. right next to the, um, the right. light color. So this heart is actually foam taped up. Okay, but you're just gonna do a yeah. little demo for us? Okay. So, let's see, I'm Are about, both of them? about there and there. Okay. 
And I've got the Viva Pink. Now this is a really rich, deep pink, which is very fun. You shake it each time? Yeah, I shake okay. it each time. Because you can, you can really tell when it's shaken up. You can't see any of the particles settled on any of the sides. So this is another example of be sure to use a light color. Right, and okay. I always like to wipe my nozzle before I spray. Oh, OK. Just to clean it. Yeah. Okay. Don't lean too far back. It's going to be OK. <laughs> am, I, am I in the other room? <laughs> <laughs> I do trust you, Anne. <laughs> All right. The other thing that's fun is that it gets a little bit darker as it seeps into the paper. It does. And you can so. see it beating up on there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I like Let's to take it, it off with tweezers, but I'll just. Ta da! But, um, and voila! Look at that. And I think it's just a really. What is neat is that, okay, you've shown us this, so now I can do this on some other papers because you've given me a, a yeah, kind of a leg right, up. Yeah. So that's nice. Just make sure that your pattern isn't too busy over where you're going to have your, your shape. But don't be afraid of using a pattern that's got stuff going on as right. long as it's got a light background. Exactly. So, now, that look. we've shown two cards. Mm -hmm. Are cards the only thing you can do? I know. Of I know. Not. Okay, look at this. This is just lovely. Now, this is using a great big piece. Yes, it's and right over on the bottom. Is it? Or the uh, second to the bottom. OK. So this is the stencil. It's called Monarch. OK. And it's a full 12 by 12 stencil. And you can use it all as one piece. Or if you wanted to, you could cut a square to mask out a square. OK, so what's been done here on the light pink the full piece has been done on both the light pink and then a separate full 12 by 12 of the blue. And okay. what I did was I just trimmed out this frame of the blue sheet. Ah, which is the center, right? Exactly. OK. You used brown, the chocolate, mm -hmm, on, on both, both of them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, that's interesting, because when you've got the container of the chocolate, it looks really, really dark. Right. But it's a beautiful, it's soft, a soft color. It's a soft brown. And it's yeah. the same brown as you saw on Lene's card. OK. Right, the of the center. first card, right. so of this one. There it is on the blue. So it's very different looks because this is yeah. mostly covered with spritz and this is just partially. Now what's interesting to me is that this is the pink and the blue. This is also the pink and the blue. Mm -hmm. Same of the brown, right. but very different look. And these fleur de lis, these are from the center of the blue, which you'll see on the okay. template. So yeah. these so large pieces. So I just pieces. cut out two of those. OK. Oh, this is so striking, Anne. Thanks. It's beautiful. We've got a little yeah, scroll a here. Yeah, scroll. It's really simple. You just kind of curl it around a pencil and then glue it down, That's glue down the center. beautiful. Just beautiful. OK, you're getting me jazzed. <laughs> OK, now our next card is this one. And this has got some water lilies. Yes, it does. And that comes from these stencils. Now, this comes all on one sheet, but they are attached together at first. But as you'll see on here, it says, do not tear. Cut with scissors. <laughs> so simply cut on the dotted lines, and then you'll have eight stencils. OK. And this is the water lily one, which okay. I used. So you so. used this on um, Nature's watercolor paper pack. Right. OK. And you're cleaning up our last one. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I didn't get any spritz on okay. the next thing. OK, so we'll have our water lily. Now, the paper that you've chosen is the one that looks like a watercolor, right. hence nature's watercolor. <laughs> and um, so what did you do here? So here I placed it on, and then I would mask each side of it to make sure that my spray doesn't go outside. OK, did you just put paper there? I put, yeah, scrap paper there. OK, right. OK, so you didn't have to put something that was like sheet protectors that would be no, non No, you could if you, wanted, if you wanted to reuse it. OK. But I just used scrap paper. So, and you can see on the card, or at least I hope you can see, that the water, the water lilies are here. They're right mm -hmm. here. Why um, don't I just set these down? OK. And I'll put that in the corner. Let me scoot it up. Now, whatever paper's showing, mist will get on, so okay, we won't be too picky. <laughs> okay, so this is the aquamarine, which is a really pretty teal color. Okay. And again, we're going on paper that's green and orange and brown. Right. Okay. Now you're a little bit closer to it this time. Yeah, I wanted a little bit more concentration okay. of color there. Ooh, so it looks pretty. We remove <laughs> our paper. Let me take this off. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So that oh, was my okay. background. Yes. Here, let me block Thank that. You. <laughs> so that went on the background, and then you spritz some on white cardstock. Right. And mm -hmm. this is with the Viva Pink? Yes. Since that's the only color I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fun color. It's a good color. Now, you have done some layers of vellum up here. Yes. I have done three strips of vellum across just to make a little more opaque right here, even, even though you can still sell, tell that it's clear and, and you translucent. Can, actually, on camera, you can really see the uh, water lily behind yeah, there. So yeah. So that's nice. And the other thing I do want to point out is this stamp. Now, this is actually embossed on vellum, which I have haven't done before, but right. it does work. And I used this. Feels to me like that might be tricky. <laughs> yes, but it's actually pretty simple. I used the Colorbox Petal Point Classic Pigment Ink Pad. Now this is the Celebrate collection. You get okay. eight colors in here. And um, basically, you, it comes with little labels you can put on the ends here, but they come out just like a pie uh -huh, <laughs> slice. Like a pie piece, yeah. yeah. Um, you ink up the stamp. Now, the thing about the pigment ink pad is that it dries very slowly. Okay. So you can use it kind of like your um, Versamark or embossing ink pad. Oh, okay. So I didn't get that that's where you were going. Okay, so yeah. you just stamped it with this. Yeah, I stamped it Yeah, with the pink. On, okay. And then I put on clear embossing powder. Oh, so because the pink would show. So you can make any color of these colors because right. with clear and make, you know, silver, gold, because the clear will show the ink through. So I sprinkled wow. on the clear embossing powder and embossed it. I just, you know, make sure to um, put the heat uh, the heat gun on as minimal as possible. Yeah, because you don't want it to warp the vellum. Right, so exactly. It doesn't take But very I was long. really surprised how oh. well that this worked with embossing. With, so the, with the clear embossing powder. I highly recommend Good it. Good to know. <laughs> Good. More techniques. Yeah. Okay, we have one more card. Okay. And this one, now here's where we're going directly onto cardstock. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we've got multiple colors going on. And this is using this uh, template again, or this stencil again uh -huh. from Creative Imaginations. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see how that's going to fit on here, one way or another. Right, either or, way, or any way you want. Or turn it over, anyway. <laughs> so let's bring our craft sheet and our, this is our blank card. It's yes. uh, five by uh, five inches this way, six and a half. Our fold is up here. Right. Now. The three colors I'm using, okay. which is fun, you can mix colors. Yes are the Moonlight, Purple Pansy, and Meadow Green. Okay. So I'm going to first use my, you could do it either way because I sprayed Meadow, Meadow Green, I mean Moonlight, all over the card. Do you want to take that down? Or after. I mean, how? Um, what do you, you feel like it's okay? I think it's okay. Okay. As long as we don't touch it. Okay, so we won't Until touch after. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm shaking up my meadow green okay. as Paulette cringes. I'm I won't spray you. <laughs> I know you won't intentionally. <laughs> I have confidence, have confidence. <laughs> so I'm notice I'm Just going a pretty bit. lightly. Yeah. yeah. And I guess that's really what you would want to do <clears throat> when you're doing multiple colors, because right. you can always add more, but right. you can't you take can't it away. You can't subtract, so <laughs> Don't get too much, otherwise it'll look kind of muddy. And I think you might have noticed that it got darker. Again, it's saturating into yeah. the, into when the paper. Yeah, when you first spray, it's yeah. a little bit harder to notice. So, a little <laughs> bit of purple here and there. A little bit more of purple. Yeah. Now, you're wiping the nozzle before and after you spritz. Yeah, just to keep the nozzle okay. nice and clean, it's easier. And, and then uh, I'm going to lift this off. Oh, you are. And then I'm going to spray lightly with blue. You know, that's the thing I always forget is to do that. So I'm really glad you talked about it. You I forget mean, it's, to lift it off? Well, I would forget to, yeah. And I, I think that you kind of get involved in doing the colors uh -huh. here, and but it is really nice to get some on the white areas. Yes, so. and this is a nice light blue. Ah. So that's pretty much all it needs. Yeah, so it's just to take away kind of the starkness of the white. Right. Now you will get some of these drops and so you mm -hmm. just need to be okay about that. Yes, and they add character. They <laughs> add character, they add kind of that distressed and that original mm -hmm. look also because yes. you'll never duplicate it. Now in the finished one we added some dazzles mm -hmm. and and this shape is from the Layered Labels template. Oh, great. And then on the inside, this is a fun surprise. We mm -hmm. just have one color. Yeah. So and then this is the white. That's very neat. Okay. So we've got 
lots of ideas and lots of fun things to I do. I love those glimmer mists. <laughs>